Hi there, I'm a learning advisor at James Cook University and it is a pleasure to be here with you today to go through the academic writing webinar centred around unpacking the essay question. So today we're going to cover uh, a number of things. We're going to look at a writing strategy and action to help you unpack the essay question. A little quick check in to see how confident and competent you are. Looking also at what successful students do, frequently asked questions and what you'll do as a result of participating in this webinar today to help you move one step closer towards success for your up and coming assignment. So checking in now, looking at the smiley faces and this very simple graph, how confident and competent do you feel around unpacking and starting your very first assignment? Now, regardless if you've picked one smiley face or four, in this webinar today, I'm going to teach you a powerful strategy that can really move you towards feeling more confident and competent in starting that assignment. So let's just take a moment here to explore what successful students do when they start the assignment process. So before diving into the scholarly research or physically writing out that essay response, successful students spend some quality time unpacking the essay question, making sense of it. And that's really why I'm going to be sharing with you some top tips today to help you make sense of what the task is asking you to do. We're taking this strategy into action. So the first thing to do, the very first thing to do when you get your assignment is to have a look at and make some connections with the title of that essay question or topic and see if there is a relationship or a connection to anything you have heard in lectures or your weekly readings. Something else that's powerful to do is to look at your subject outline and go to the subject calendar and have a look, skimming and scanning through each week where you can see a connection with your essay question or topic and the weekly readings or key topics from a lecture week. Another really important part uh, to do at the first phase of unpacking the essay question is to also have a look at the subject-based learning outcomes and see how the task description and the words in that description and marking criteria or rubric may relate to or link to the subject-based learning outcomes. These are great starting points to get clues to make sense of what the task is asking you. You can also ask yourself some simple questions like, why is, this, why is this task necessary? How does it link to what I've heard or what I'm studying? And what are the important issues to include here? Subtopics or categories, as well as also thinking about what type of essay or assignment it actually is. Is it a critical essay, an annotated bibliography, a research report? And what will be the style or the organisational pattern that you'll need to follow to meet the demands of that particular genre or writing? writing text type. You can get lots of really great clues from conversations in your tutorials, in your lectures, but you can also have a look at some of the sample assignments that the Learning Centre has, as well as in the Writing LibGuide, some great examples of what good scholarly writing looks like. And if you are following along this whole webinar series, you will see some of those in action. So once you've asked these basic questions, the next thing that you can do is have a look at the essay question or topic and embedded in all of those essay questions and topics are key words. These words, if we can pull them out, underline them, highlight them, um, comprehend them, will move us one step closer to understanding what the task is asking us to do. So embedded in essay questions are task words. These are the words that tell us what to do. It might be compare, contrast, discuss an idea, theory or two key concepts. It may be critically evaluate. But before you go in with your own definition and understanding of what these task words are asking you to do, it might be a good idea to consult a scholarly definitions list. Here is a brief one, but if you go on to the writing libguide from the JCU library page under guides or you visit the resources from the Learning Centre, you will see that we have quite prescriptive definition banks of all of the task words that are commonly embedded in assessment tasks. So let's just take a look at a couple here. Let's go to that examine and analyze. So examine is where we inspect 
someone or something thoroughly in order to de determine the nature or condition of it. Analyzing is examining closely. So there's this relationship between examine and analyze, and it's and in an analysis, you're drawing connections between ideas, forming relationships, looking for flaws and limitations, as well as relationships and where ideas build on one another. If we're looking at a synthesis, you're combining a number of things into a coherent whole. So if you are unsure of what the task words are asking, a great tip is to define them in terms of academia. That's the first thing to do. And I have here an essay example question. And what I have highlighted are the task words. So discuss and critically examine. These are going to be the two different tasks that are required of you in this particular assignment. So go through your own assessment tasks, the task description most specifically, and have a look at uh, whether you can identify task words that are embedded there. Underline them, highlight them, and then set about defining them. Check in with your peers, check in with your lecturer and tutor to make sure you have a very clear understanding of what they are. Also, go to your marking rubric and criteria to get more clues and look at where there is a connection. So there are other types of words embedded in essay questions and they are the content words. Now content words are the words and ideas and concepts that form the whole knowledge base of your assignment. You can refer to subject specific dictionaries and glossaries to help you define and really understand what those keywords are. I know some successful students in the past have actually taken the back of their lecture book to create their own subject specific uh, glossary with all of the key definitions. This is not only helpful to uh, create an assignment, but it's also a powerful study strategy so that you are coherently and concretely understanding all of the concepts within your discipline and subject. So let's have a look at some content words embedded in this particular essay topic. So effective communication is the very big general idea or topic that's being covered, but it's in the context of higher education and specifically looking at academic papers and essays. But this task is actually asking students to discuss the process of writing. So in this essay, a, a, a successful student would outline the process of writing a critical essay or an academic essay and exploring the importance of how structure and content are both important to creating well-formed essays. So one would assume that the structure and the content would become a significant part of the body of essay uh, paragraphs in response to this um, topic. So in essay questions, there is another type of word or words, and they are called limiting words. These words will help you limit the scope of your assignment. They will help you know where the boundaries are on how far to research and how far to write. Now, a limit could be a word limit placed on a, an assignment and uh, it also could be a percentage. If you've got a task that's only worth 10%, um, you may not be putting weeks and weeks and weeks into that task as opposed to one that may be worth 35 to 40%. You may be covering that over time, but it might also mean that you're going into much more depth. So limiting words can be embedded in and are embedded in rather to the essay questions and topics to help you really make sense of how far you will go with the topic. So a limit could be uh, looking at a concept over time. It could be over the past 20 years. Uh, another limit could be that you're only looking at one, two key concepts or theories, or it may be looking at two or three key uh, subtopics for the assignment or uh, theme or topic. So let's have a little look back at that essay uh, example question and have a look at some of those underlined words. So I've already mentioned that a significant part of this assignment in the body paragraphs would be centered around structure being important to well-formed essays and content being important. But another limit here is the context of higher education. So it's not looking at uh, it's not looking at secondary education or looking at communication in a professional context. It's looking specifically at higher education. So you would be drawing on examples and evidence in that particular area. So these limits can really help you think about what research you will uncover and go seeking out. 
Now it's your turn. You can stop this webinar, you can take out your, assessor, uh, your subject outline and look at one of your subject uh, assignments and see if you can identify the task, content and limiting words embedded in your task description. Don't forget to have a look at where there is a connection to the marking criteria, most certainly the high distinction category, as well as the subject-based learning outcomes here. So if you are doing that now, uh, you might like to stop this video or come back, take some notes that you're going to do that with every single task. But now it's time to turn it over to some top tips from real students. Uh, one student has shared with me a top tip and that's don't wait until the week or the night before an assignment is due to start making sense of it. So give yourself some time and as you're planning the assignment to really take a good week to make sense of what the task is asking and make sure you get all of the resources and necessary definitions together. Uh, another student has shared that they take a blank piece of paper and brainstorm and map out the structure of the essay and pull out the key content words, the task words and limiting words to create the organisational frame of the essay. And another really top tip that students share with me every single semester is don't be frightened to seek out support and help. If you are not making sense of what the task is asking, perhaps you can really look at all of the amazing support mechanisms within the university to help you. Definitely your peers and most certainly your tutors and lecturers, but you can also contact the Learning Centre. You can email learning at jcu.edu.au to make a consult with the Learning Advisor. You can drop into the Learning Advice Desk located on the Townsville and Cairns ground floor of the library to see a peer advisor who can help you with unpacking your essay question. So there are really great supports available for you and I encourage you to take them up as you make the transition to university study and success as you submit your first assignment. So let's chat together. I'm going to quickly chat uh, now with you and look at the chat window and see some of the questions that are coming up in the chat window and respond to them because they may be burning questions that you also have. So just skimming and scanning through the chat window here, having a little look. Okay, uh, around, uh -huh, just looking through. Okay, um, unpacking the essay question. What happens if I, um, I, I think the essay, I go about planning the essay in one way, but it's not necessarily what the lecturer is asking from me. Oh, this is a really great question. How do you get confirmation that what you are doing is actually on track? So I can give you some great tips here. Definitely check in with your peers, your lecturers and your tutors. Visit the Learning Help Desk and also maybe make a consult with a learning advisor. But before you do any of those things, please be sure to check out the marking criteria and also have a look at um, any sample assignments that are available to you and ask questions. There's probably someone else uh, wanting an answer to the same question that you were asking. Looking more at the chat window here and seeing what other questions come up. Yeah, okay, so another question that's in the chat window is centred around uh, what happens if you don't know what those words mean, the task content or limiting words. So if you have already looked at all of the available resources and you are still not really having uh, any luck, you might like to email your tutor or your lecturer to get some guidance there. Or you might check in with, um, if, it's a, if, it's a, if it's a word that's connected to a discipline, you might seek out those subject specific glossaries and, um, and have a look at your textbooks and your readings to see if you can find the definitions there. Go through those weekly key readings and look. So great questions in the chat window and if you'd like to ask any questions, drop in and see uh, the Learning Help Desk. It's been an absolute pleasure to share with you this quick strategy for unpacking your essay question. And if you'd like more resources, be sure to check out the Writing LibGuide, the Learning uh, Centre webpage, and a couple of links that I've put here for you to find out more. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you in an additional webinar where we unpack uh, the essay question in terms of what's the, what's the process of writing the assignment from handing it in by the due date to that unpacking process to how do we write and make critical notes to how do we integrate other sources into our writing. So I look forward to seeing you in an up and coming webinar. Thank you so much for joining me today.